Penn State linebacker Micah Parsons is a six foot three, 245 pound heat seeking missile when it comes to playing the position. He is a run and chase linebacker who brings a lot of pop when he comes in to meet somebody in the hole. The concerns for him are instincts. Does he have enough of the instincts to become a tackling machine? I think he does. I think he's one of those guys when you look at his skill set, he can get to the football and make a lot of plays. He opted out in 2020, so some teams will have to go back and study him closely in 2019. But what I see is Devin White, the linebacker from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, a guy who can really change the way a defense plays with his speed and his athletic ability. From a talent perspective, Joseph is easily one of the most gifted cornerbacks in the 2021 NFL Draft class. He is physical in coverage and does a tremendous job of locating the football in the air, as evidenced by his four interceptions last season. His interception of Mac Jones in coverage against Devontae Smith was one of the best plays made by any cornerback in this draft class. The once highly rated recruit transferred from LSU after his freshman season. He essentially has just one full season of starting experience and has been known to make poor decisions after the play has concluded. There is boom or bust potential with the selection of Joseph. My comparison for him is Legereus Sneed, who was one of the NFL's best rookies last season when healthy. Owa Adigazua out of UCLA played in the Senior Bowl this year, had a really good week of work. It reminds me a lot of Kevin Strong, who played at Rutgers and now plays for the Detroit Lions. I look at Odigazua, and he gets really good bursts off the football as a shade technique in UCLA's defense, really causes the amount of double teams that he gets because of it, and combined with his power, he can really collapse a pocket. Now, he has to be able to work his hands better, both at the snap and once he's engaged with a blocker, and that would help him potentially increase his pass rushing abilities as a pro. Golston is a 4-3 base defensive end that lacks explosiveness off the snap. He has shown flashes of being productive working inside at the Reese's Senior Bowl and on film. The Michigan native has great length and has shown pass rush diversity through the use of an outside rip, swim move, jab, and more. Golston projects as a role player that is closer to serving as roster depth than becoming a starter. He needs to get stronger and become more of an enforcer at the next level. It will be difficult to rely upon him until he becomes more consistent at setting the edge. My comparison for Golston is Ronald Blair. Jabril Cox was a monster. This is a guy, large frame star for the Tigers. His ability to diagnose and attack makes him a very impressive run stuffer. His burst and straight line speed is one of the best in this class. It did seem that at times he was too focused maybe to make a name on himself. You want to be aggressive? Maybe he was a little bit over aggressive at times gonna have to clean that up and i get it that's just what's gonna happen this guy when he calms down when he focuses on the play can be more like cj mosley josh paul began his career at florida state and played over 500 snaps and after a year in community college he transferred to marshall in 2019. ball certainly looks the part though he is enormous has long arms and moves well for his size unfortunately his development stagnated in recent seasons and he looks a lot like the player we saw early in his career in tallahassee he also needs to get stronger, even against lower level FBS competition. Ball wasn't nearly as dominant as you would like to see. That said, he only allowed one sack over two seasons and nearly a thousand snaps. Ultimately, his NFL future will depend on how teams view his 2018 off-field issue and whether they think he has the ability to not only gain functional strength, but rework his technique, which was sloppy at times, in part because he was so much better than the competition he was facing. Israel Mukoamu was one of the stars of South Carolina's secondary. The dude is a flat out ball hawk. He found ways to get the football. He kind of flew under the radar. Not a lot of people saw him a lot, but his three picks in the upset win over Georgia in 2019 were what really announced his presence with authority. He has great vision, great quickness, which allows him to bait quarterbacks into making ill-advised throw. He's a little bit on the tall side, so for a cornerback, maybe not the best attribute scouts are going to pick at that but we saw Richard Sherman who's all right as a tall cornerback I think that's exactly what we're seeing here so the next Richard Sherman coming out of Columbia want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game the highlights the picks the instant analysis no yelling no fake debates no politics hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment